Hi, I'm Luke. The year is 2021 and it's Scania's single biggest launch since the introduction of the new truck generation back in 2016. Scania is now introducing not only a new engine and gearbox, but also services and updates that Scania say is to consolidate its position as the leading manufacturer of premium heavy trucks. I was lucky enough to have been part of a media team sent out to Sweden to demo these trucks and in this video I will show you what I got up to as well as talk about these amazing new engines, the sustainability it provides and the profitability you will gain from these machines. This is Sogitalia. Scania's new 13 litre engine is capable of running on biofuels. It delivers the best fuel economy at 8% fuel savings, it's more robust and has a longer service life. It has been designed from the ground up meaning there is unmatched efficiency and durability. And as this may well be the last of Scania's internal combustion engines being built, I was keen to try it out. So I jumped in a 560S Super to see what it was like for myself. Hello, how are you doing, right? UK somewhere? Yeah, UK, a so, uh, place called Swindon. Swindon, Probably yeah. never heard of it. I've heard of it, but I couldn't really place it on the map. This is southern It's part? sort of uh, in between Bristol and Reading, if you know those places. Yeah, Bristol I've been to. So it's just uh, just east of Bristol. Oh, okay. Yeah. Okay. Nice, nice. So, not too bad. Yep. Good. Ready to go. Yeah. So this is the 560. Yeah. The most uh, the engine with the most horsepower. So the, the new gearbox, uh, the compression release brake, and everything. So it's well equipped as it should be. So just fire away and fire away. Yeah. yeah. Uh, remind me. Yeah, steering wheel. Yeah. Exactly. There we go. And it's loaded with 40 tons. More 40 less. tons. Yeah, or total, total weight. And we've got a box trailer on, haven't we? Yeah. Exactly. Yeah. <laughs> so, and it says six, six by two. It's going to uh, hire the seat a bit. Hey, right. Forward. There we go. It's a bit sunny out there, isn't it? Sorry, a bit, bit sunny out, a bit, yeah. bit bright. Yeah, it's not usual for November in Sweden. I guess it's the same in the UK. Yeah, a bit chilly. <laughs> yeah, I think it was it was last year or the year before. I think in November in some parts of Sweden we had like one hour and a half of sunshine. Oh, was that all? Yeah, all of November it was disaster. <laughs> but but this right. year has been quite good actually. Yeah, you don't have much daylight, do you? I think the sun sets at ooh, probably like three. Yeah, I think in the UK at the moment it sets about uh, I think it's like quarter past four or something like that at the moment. Yeah, yeah. But if you go up north, it's pretty much twenty-four-seven now. Uh, darkness. I think it's in. It's in it's around like fourteenth of of December. That's the darkest. Yeah, not a lot of daylight. You... So I am actually a lorry driver. Oh, you are? Uh, I do drive full time yeah. uh, for a living, but I also make um, online content, create oh, okay. YouTube videos, yeah. what they call a vlogger. Oh. You ever heard of a yeah. vlogger? Yeah, yeah, yeah. So I, I, do, I do that, I use my GoPros yeah. Yeah. and I, rec yeah. I record my daily job. Yeah. Um, and yeah, I, I got a quite a large following. I'm, I'm watched yeah. about a quarter of a million times oh, every, every month. Yeah, brilliant, so. brilliant. And I like especially the gearbox. I mean, the engine, in one way, an, an engine is an engine. Uh, of course, there's more torque and, and etc. Et and and um, but the gearbox is really different in, in this one compared with the, the past ones. Yeah, the, the, they're just so smooth. Yeah, it is. It is really you hardly nice. feel it. It might have. You go up a hill, you change a gear, and you. <laughs> yeah, exactly. And uh, I mean, for the. Do you own your own truck? Or you no, I work for a company, uh, yeah. 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 But for, for the owners, I mean, the fuel consumption, that's essential for them. So it's it's uh, at least 8%. Yes, that's what they're saying, isn't it? Yeah. 8%. Yep. 
you know, I think with my with my daff, I'm getting around about I don't know seven uh, miles per gallon. Mm. So it's not an awful lot. Don't need to ask me twice. <laughs> Thank you very much for that. Oh, you're welcome. And have a good day here. You've been driving. Uh, you already been driving on the road, or? No, uh, that's that's later on, but oh, okay. um, yep. I think I'm going to give it a miss and I'm going to be out on the track somewhere getting some video. Oh, okay. So you'll okay. probably see me on the tra yeah. track. And when you do that, please get the, uh, the vest. The vest, yes. Yeah. I'm going to uh, go and grab one of them yeah. at lunch break. That's perfect. Excellent. Thank you very much. Put that Thank in neutral. You. Thank you very much. Uh, yeah. Take my cameras with me. Yeah. <laughs> what I really enjoyed about that ride was the gearbox. The transition was so smooth, you didn't really know you were changing gear. It was also a lot quieter in the cab than usual, and the torque that you had going up the hill was incredible. You could really feel the power. I wasn't done though, they had more trucks available to drive, so next up, I got in a 500R. Yes, well, you're familiar with driving trucks? Yes, I'm a full-time driver, so actually okay. I do it for a living. Okay, very good. Supposedly. And uh, you're familiar with Scania also? Yeah, I've driven a few Scanias. Yeah. I, d I don't drive one on a day-to-day -day basis, but um, okay. I have driven a few, yes. Very good. So, this is a 500 with the retarder. It's in now in, in, in echo mode. Yep. And you just turn it on and there you go. Lovely. Right. Just going to adjust the steering wheel set. There we go. Good to go? Yes. So you're a journalist? Um, I, well, kind of. Okay. <laughs> so, um, as I said, I, I, I drive for a living, uh, so I yeah. do drive full time. Okay. But I also um, have cameras and I, and I okay. basically vlog okay. what I do on a day-to-day -day basis. Okay. And where is your, where are you positioned? Sorry? Where, where in Britain do you? Uh, I, I'm from a place called Swindon. Okay. Um, which is sort of, uh, I said to the other bloke, it's just, just east of um, Bristol. If you know where Bristol is. Yes. Down here? Yes. Lovely jubbly. Uh, keep the right lane and then when, when we're coming halfway up the hill, yep. you can just stop and just have a go with it. See how the acceleration is. Will do. Where would you like me to start well, to sort of between the lines? Side. Yeah. Some, somewhere there. In the middle. Yeah. When you tried this earlier today, absolutely actually slipped oh did it go for, but it's maybe it's a little bit drier drier Let's have a look right so come to a stop and then yep. the so hill assist is on isn't it yep. yes okay ready yes Drive locally, Sweden, or no, I, I I go all over, so okay. all over the UK, okay. so I could be Wales, Scotland, where, okay. wherever. Yeah. So what have we got on board? Uh, Thirty-eight tons. Thirty-eight. Oh yeah. What's what's inside the tanker? Sorry. What's inside the tanker? Oh, I don't know. <laughs> <laughs> Something heavy, I suppose. Yeah. Liquid. Liquid. <laughs> <laughs> I don't know. Are you familiar with this feature when you go down the hill and you get the right speed, you just slow, once lightly press the, yeah. the brake and then, then so it'll put that down. Keep, keep the, the speed. That's it. You can't, well, if you use the retarder, it doesn't work. But oh, okay. The, but if you, yeah. so, so if I turn it off? Yeah, and then you just go up to the same right speed you want to keep and then you just slowly press the brake and, and lift your foot. Yeah. So if I slowly press the brake now? Well, you can just release the brake and just, yeah, and lift your foot, lift your foot. There we go. So it keeps... So it keeps it at that speed. Oh, okay, yeah. that's cool. So you can you can sort of get the right speed and then just... Then let go, it. and then it sorts it out. Okay, that's clever. Saves you some foot ache. Yeah. Is this uh, your 
first visit to Scania? Uh, I was invited to Winter 2020 in Norway last year. Okay. So um, I went there. That was that was fun. So this. Well, you haven't been here to Salatelia? Not to Salatelia, no. So first time here. Now when you come down here, you can try the the retarder. There are six steps, but you can just adjust it so that you get the right kind of speed you want. Yeah. Yeah, it's a beautiful place. Mm. Yeah. You can just let go of the brake. There we go. Yeah. yeah that's really smart, that. Yeah. You might see me later outside yeah. somewhere. I'm going to get some footage externally. Yeah. Uh, and of course, when, the, when you're using the cruise control, there is also this brake control that you can have this into all. Working together. <coughs> yeah. <coughs> so you don't need to touch the paddles. Yeah, so I'm, I'm not touching anything. Yeah. It's just keeping me at that speed. <coughs> yeah, it's kept me at 29 kilometers all the way down that. Yeah. That's clever, that. I like that. <coughs> I suppose you've got to go around now about 50 more times. <laughs> I need to touch that, to just uh, turn it off and then it's, it comes off. So now oh, yeah, there we go. Yep. Lovely. Thank you very okay, much. Well, thank right. you. Appreciate that. <laughs> Have a good day. That's good. Enjoy. Enjoy yeah. going around 50 more times now. <laughs> thank so, you. Uh, yeah, you Cheers. Forget your... Oh, you shall, yeah. I shall grab them now. Thank you very much for allowing me to put them up. Yes, and thanks for reminding me about my cameras. Don't want to forget them. Other updates worth mentioning are that there have been major updates on the chassis, frames, axles and tanks for increased modularity, meaning that operators can have a truly custom layout that benefits them. Maximise your payload by distributing your weight evenly. It's a bit like Tetris, pick and choose where your tanks go. Scania are also offering Pro Care. It offers 100% planned uptime for business critical trucks. ProCare is designed to reduce unplanned stops to zero. It focuses on renewing components before they break down. You will no longer have to take unplanned time off the road in the garage, potentially costing late delivery fees. Scania will recognise a component needs fixing, order the part, book you in and get it fixed. Thank you very much for watching guys, I do appreciate it. I've had a fantastic experience here in Sotitali. Uh, in Sweden. A uh, big thank you to Scania for inviting me out. I've learned a lot and I really do appreciate it. Beautiful place as well. I highly recommend you go and visit. My drone is currently above my head right now pretty much. Just getting another shot. <laughs> right, thanks for watching. Do appreciate it. Until next time, drive safe, stay safe. I will see you soon. Thank you very much for watching. Bye-bye.